What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing well, and thank you so much for watching my review for The Substance. This is a film that has been getting so much acclaim and rave reviews that when it first came to my theater a couple of weeks ago, I missed it. I didn't see it, and I was like, okay, I'll just wait for, for the, the digital release of this. But then... Due to word of mouth, I guess, and popular demand, they put it back in and they gave it one showing each night this week at like 9.30 at night. So this past Saturday, I went and I went and saw The Substance. And I'm going to give you my very honest review for this movie. And the honest uh, thought and opinion I have on this is I hated this movie. The Substance is one of the worst movies I've seen in years. And I'm going to tell you why. So guess what? There's spoilers that are going to be involved in this review. If you haven't seen the film, maybe you don't care. But I am going to get into it. I'm going to spoil it. Because I have to be able to give you my full thoughts and to do that, I need to get into specifics. And the plot of the substance is Demi Moore plays a 50-year-old, 50-something-year-old superstar actress who is now doing this workout show. And when Dennis Quaid, he's like the head of the network or whatever, and he comes to her and he says, you know what, we want to do this with someone a little younger. So he lets her go and fires her. So as she's driving home, I think they see her ripping her billboard off the thing. She gets into a car crash. So she's not injured. She doesn't have a scratch on her. And the one guy that was in there with the doctor says something like, there's one more exam I have to do. So he checks her back. And he's like, oh, you're a good candidate. Checks her spine and all this. He's like, you're a good candidate. She's like, for what? And he hands her this little USB that says the substance. So she goes home, puts it on her TV, and she discovers what it is. And it's hard to kind of explain. You have to kind of watch the movie to understand. But the easiest way to do it, the easiest way to under, understand it and explain it, is the substance is something you put in your body. And a perfect version, a younger, more beautiful version of yourself pops out of your back. It's literally born out of your back. Your back opens up and the new version of you comes out. And that new version is going to be alive for seven days. And the version that just gave birth is going to be basically in a coma for seven days. And you got to put these fluids, there's all these tubes and stuff that, that are into it. And after the seven days are up, the new version has to switch and go into a coma as the original version of yourself wakes up. So every other seven days, you have to do this. So Demi Moore does this. Margaret Qualley is born out of her back and takes the job. She takes the job that Dennis Quaid fired her from, and they revamped it into this extremely stylized workout show. So every seven days they go back and forth and Demi Moore gets a little more jealous of the Margaret Margaret Qualley character. By the end of the film, it leads into complete absurdity. That's the plot of the movie, okay? And let me just explain to you why it didn't work for me. So Demi Moore's character, she has got to be one of the most stupid people that I've seen in a film in a very long time. Because, look, she's she's got this beautiful apartment. She's obviously got money, okay? She's got to have friends. The The movie basically says, no, she, she lives in isolation. So she's going to do this thing that every other seven days she's going to disappear. And she's just going to think nobody's going to notice. You don't have any family, any friends. That was a little ridiculous to me. So it's like, okay, I'm going to let it slide if the execution works. So she goes to this little drop box, basically, to get her shipment of the liquid and the injections and all this. And she's got a number. It was like 503 or whatever. So she goes, and it's like these little mailboxes, but only two of them have a number on it, hers and somebody else's. Now, the doctor guy that gave her the thing in, in, the, in the 
doctor's office, he also has the substance. He's an older man that we see in the diner later in the film. So are you trying to lead me to believe that these people, the substance people, the people who made it, only have two customers? I mean, who'd you test it on? It was like, this is ridiculous. And she's got to go into this place that you look like you're going to get murdered to get it. I mean, for someone who's as wealthy as you are and, you know, with a Hollywood walk of fame, you think, you think you'd be a little smarter to be like, mm, I'm not going to do this just because you got fired from your job. So she goes ahead and does it regardless of all the, the, the things that would stop her. She just sees the, the creepiness of it all and has no issue. So she takes it. Margaret Qualley comes out and how they film Margaret Qualley, how they film the nudity in this film and the yoga stuff, like when she's doing yoga or, or the exercise program that Margaret Qualley is doing, how they film the female body and how they film the human body in this movie is disgusting. They linger over the bodies of Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley so much in this film that it sickened me to my core. It felt like this is like the teaser for a porno. And this is the style of this movie and the director's style of this film is what tanked it for me. You have so many sequences of the camera just lingering over these these women's women's bodies and sometimes completely naked. And I'm thinking, why are we doing this? I feel weird. I feel like a creep watching this. The movie completely creeped me out. And not in a good way either. A lot of people are saying how good about the, the, the prosthetics are in this, the body horror. Sure, it all looks real. The prosthetics are great. It looks fantastic. But it, it, guess what? I don't think that's necessarily something that worked in its favor because it was so gosh darn weird and creepy to me that I couldn't find myself enjoying watching this movie. Halfway through it, there's the sequence there's a sequence where you know they're filming an episode of the Margaret Qualley workout episode and they continue just lingering over these bodies of these women and her body and over sexualizing this whole entire film i was so ready to just get up and i'm i'm thinking i'm going to walk out this is sick this movie is sick and this, like, there's so many stupid stuff with the story as well. With Demi Moore, she's just doing it. Apparently, she's got no family, no friends. She's just going to disappear for seven days. The Margaret Qualley character is going to disappear for seven days because she has a mother she has to take care of out of town. The final scene of this movie, like sequence, the final like 15 to 20 minutes of this movie, goes off the rails so hard if there was anything that was going to save this movie for me it was how it was going to end like how are you going to end this and basically the filmmaker was just like you know what screw you screw you all i don't know i, I, I oh this movie was a freak show and the over stylization of the filmmaking, like the editing, I thought was was really good. I thought the sound design was really good. Demi Moore is fantastic in this movie. Margaret Qualley is pretty good. She's not given much to do, but she's pretty good. Dennis Quaid is fantastic, but it's just the over stylization of the whole thing. I've never seen a film quite sexualize women in such a offensive, exploitive way that it angered me to my core. The story was stupid. Look, I get it. This is a th the themes of substance abuse. I get it. It's a good theme. It's a good thing to want to put in your movie, but they do nothing with it. They try to bank on the body horror and the disgustingness of it. They try to bank on that, and it, it, it falls completely flat. It didn't work for me. I hated this film. This is one of the worst movies I've seen in years. I will never rewatch this movie. I didn't get an ounce of enjoyment watching this. I feel like I wasted my money and my time. 
And at the end of the day, I mean, obviously it's a zero. If I'm going to give it a score, it's a zero. It doesn't even get a point, a star, nothing. It's a zero. I hated this movie. It's the worst movie I've seen in years. And it's a disgusting film. It's a disgusting film. It's a sick film. It's a perverted film. And I was shocked. I was shocked. I feel like I was lied to. With all the positivity that I'm seeing on Twitter about this, and, and I was, everything I heard about this movie, I watched it, and I got the completely opposite experience. I mean, it was really ridiculous. So that's my thoughts on the substance. Guys, comment down below. Did you see the film? Do you plan on seeing the film? If you didn't see it and you watched this movie or, or you watched this review, maybe I turned you off from it, or maybe I just tipped your curiosity enough to where you have to go out and watch it now. But if you do, please just maybe, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's not, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't imagine anybody liking this, and so many people do. But guess what? That's okay. That's okay. It's no issue at all with me. It's just for me, keep me away from this movie. And if this is to get Oscar nominations, like like for, for the things I mentioned, Demi Moore, best sound, you know, best editing, great. I won't have an issue with it because guess what? Those things were for good. But the movie itself, I can't. I can't. That's it. I'm, I'm done talking about it. So guys, you can hit that subscribe button for a bunch of reviews coming in the future. Big ones. We're going to be talking about our Venom, The Last Dance, and Concave, which is another big award-type film that I'm very excited to see. The Penguin episode, I believe we're on episode five this week. Haven't watched it yet. But uh, when I do, I'll be posting that spoiler review for, for that episode. So, guys, you can follow me on Twitter and rx at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingArises131. That's about it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for The Substance. And until next time, over and out.